we're learning how to solve some more complicated equations using what we know about quadratics. So if I go here, I'm gonna to go to factoring completely here. So this is actually a quadratic because the highest power is two. Um, but you'll notice there's a number in front of the z squared there that's not one. So it's six z squared plus 42 z minus 180 equals zero. So we're gonna look for here first the GCF. So what we can divide all of these things by and take out front. That's gonna be six uh, times z squared plus seven z because six times seven um, will get you the 42 and then the z and then we're gonna divide 180 by six and that would give you 30, in this case negative 30. Uh, and then from here we're gonna factor just the inside quadratic by thinking about what multiplies the negative 30 and adds to seven. That would be z plus 10 and a z minus three. Um, just like you normally factor tri trinomials here, and then each of these can be equal to zero. Six obviously can't be zero, but z plus 10 can be zero, or z minus three could be zero. Those are our two options. So we just solve this one for z, and we get negative 10, or we get three. So our two options for this one are negative 10 and three. Those are our two options for what z can be. Um, this one's kind of interesting. So this one you'll see is not a quadratic because it has a power of three. Uh, again, we've got z's here. So z cubed minus six z squared plus eight z equals zero. But again, this is just GCF. So what goes into all of those? So all of those have a power of z. So we take one z out and it becomes z squared minus six z plus eight equals zero. And then again, we factor this like a normal trinomial. So it multiplies to eight and adds to negative six. So that would be, again, keep the z out front. So this would be z and it's gonna be a minus two and a minus four, since those two multiply to a positive eight and add to a negative six. Now we set all of them equal to zero. So z equals zero, z minus two equals zero, z minus four equals zero. The only reason I didn't set them all equal to zero before is because the six can't be equal to zero, but z can be equal to zero. So that's one option, or z equals two is another option, or z equals four is a third option. So this actually has four possible roots, zero, two, and four, because it is a cubic function. It is not a quadratic, which is why it has more than two. So there we go. Uh, I wanna get one that looks a little bit different. Uh, this one is what I was looking for here. This one is actually a difference of perfect squares with a GCF again. So there's a 10 um, out front of the Y squared minus this very large number. If we take the 10 GCF out, we get Y squared minus 121. And that we just factor as a difference of perfect squares. Y minus 11, Y plus 11. And then you probably know this by now, but there's a quick way of doing this. Um, it's just plus or minus 11. Y minus 11 equals zero, we'll give you y equals 11, and then y plus 11 equals zero, would give you y equals negative 11, is our two options. Again, we don't put 10 equal to zero because that's not possible. So our answer, we can call it negative 11 comma 11, or we can call it plus or minus 11. Uh, either way, it's the same thing. Now, it could be a little more complicated um, if we ha have, for example, something like this, where we've got things all over the place. If I turn this mix slider on. So what you'd have to do first is get it equal to zero. So two minus z, uh, seven, seven x squared plus two x equals negative 403 minus two x squared and then plus two x. So first thing I notice is there's two x on both sides. I'm gonna get rid of that. So that's gone. And then I've got x squareds all over the place. So I'm gonna add the seven x squareds over. And I'm going to add the two or subtract the two over. So I'm going to get zero equals negative 405 plus 5x squared. Um, or 5x squared minus 405 equals zero. A little bit more um, used to how we're seeing it. And then I'm going to take that GCF out. Uh, so 5 is the GCF here. So 5 and then x squared minus, if I divide 405 by 5, I get 81. And this is just difference of perfect squares again, x minus nine, x plus nine. And then our answers would be plus or minus nine once you solve that. 
just like that here. So just a little, little, little more complicated, a little more complicated examples. Look for the GCF first, always. Uh, if you can take that out first, that always helps. If you don't have it equal to zero, obviously we gotta get equal to zero first. Um, and then just do our factor like we're used to.